United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 13 urges all nations to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. In Ghana, impact of climate change is much more present in northern sector of the country where the poorest live. In spite of successive government and non-government actors' efforts at addressing the predicament, a lot more needs to be done. To complement these efforts, Oxfam in Ghana has initiated a project called Climate Resilient Agriculture and Food Systems Crafts. The overall aim of the project is to contribute to the fight against poverty and the negative effects of climate change by enhancing the livelihood security and capacity for community-based adaptation measures for the most vulnerable in northern Ghana. The project is implemented in 20 communities across four districts located in the three northern regions of Ghana through active local partner non-governmental organizations. A total of 4,500 households from poor and vulnerable communities directly benefited from the awareness raising and climate adaptive livelihood activities supported by the project, with 70% of the beneficiaries being women. Prior to the craft project, beekeeping was not seen by the people as a form of business and it was a job for only men. Now it is a structured business and an alternative source of income for both men and women. To directly address the negative effects of climate change, the project also engaged the youth by forming what it termed Climate Smart Clubs in basic and senior high schools across its catchment areas. We teach our colleagues not to burn bush because if they burn bush, we will not get grass to roof our rooms. Village Savings and Loans Associations or VSLAs were also formed to serve as a source of loans for the people whom otherwise would not have been able to have access to any bank, so as to engage in or enhance their income-generating activities. As part of measures to empower women economically, the Crafts Project has supported them in various income-generating activities like soap and donut making. Others also benefited from livestock which serve as alternative source of income, and the droppings of the animals serve as manure for their farms. They gave me two goats, and that two goats grew up to seven. They came and then I gave them two to pass it on to another farmer. The remaining five, I sold one to buy fertilizer for my maize farm. The remaining four also delivered and grew up to ten. So currently I have ten goats and I'm very glad and happy to thank the project team for what they have done for me. The Crouch project has also introduced drought-tolerant varieties of grains some of which have been almost extinct in some of the project communities. The people are now able to have better yield and bumper harvest. As part of measures to enhance the vegetation cover of the beneficiary communities, the people have been educated on the need to plant trees and this has gone down well with them. An activity that helped greatly in reducing the rate of cutting down trees in the project communities is the introduction of energy efficient stoves to the people. With little shrubs or few sticks, the improved stove makes use of maximum heat and the people are able to cook their food with less smoke in healthy atmosphere. Activities by the project to help the people cope with the negative effects of climate change and to ensure all year round food security include training the beneficiaries on promotion of dry season farming. <laughs> Radio discussion was an alternative activity by the Crafts Project to sensitize the people on effects of climate change, coping mechanisms and basic agronomic practices. This radio program has helped in not just what it's intended for, but also united families and helped them increase their yield, which has gone a long way to reduce their economic hardship. The Craft Project also trained families in their catchment area on what it termed gender model family. The activity engendered peaceful coexistence between and among couples. Implementation of the Climate Resilient Agriculture and Food Systems Project by Oxfam in Ghana and its partners 
has indeed contributed to the fight against poverty and the negative effect of climate change. The people's livelihood security and capacity of community-based adaptation measures for the most vulnerable in the three northern regions of Ghana have indeed been enhanced. <laughs>